Hello there. It's another new day and we're going to be reviewing the Sideway Bunny SV305 Color Astronomical Camera. Okay, enough of the Jurassic Park references. But first of all, I want to thank everyone for supporting this channel. We just did it. We just reached 150 subscribers. And from the bottom of my heart, you have my thanks. So let's proceed on reviewing this astronomical camera. I ordered this camera from Lazada. You can see it in the link below. So this is what it came out, out of the box. You can see, I think this is well packaged and I think this is very good feel wise. And if you open it, so it comes with the camera itself with the lens cap on. And then I think this is the mounting tube or extension tube where you can put it in here to mount into your uh, focusing tube in the telescope and we have I think this is the T-ring where you can attach uh, another lens in here um, to be able to use this for wide field views. So this is the contents of the box. We have the camera, the, the extension tube for mounting it into your phone. Uh, focuser tube in the telescope and we have the T-ring and we have a set of instructions here if you can see it at the bottom part so you have the instructions and yes it's pronounced as Sideway Boney that's how it's pronounced so it took up a while for me to get how it should be pronounced and just, I just found this out from other YouTube videos of astronomy enthusiasts. This wouldn't be a good unboxing and review if I don't show you sample views coming from the telescope. You can see that I'm in the kitchen here, but I'm not gonna be showing you cooking tips. This is an astro video, so don't mind the background. So uh, we'll dive right in. I will show you some views uh, from my uh, from this AstroCam using the telescope, so you could at least look at what it looks like, what uh, views are when using this color camera. This is Venus captured using Sideway Boney SV305. So that's what it looks like if you use the camera and you mount it mounted to um, a telescope so again I was using a uh, Newtonian 130 uh, it's a 5 inch diameter scope so this is what Venus looks like the image is a bit dancing around because it was a windy night and there were thin clouds um, moving along so you can see it's the image is a bit bumpy this is Jupiter Still using the same camera mounted on the scope. So, so in re reality, um, if the image isn't post-processed yet, this is what you can see using the camera. You can already make out the bands of Jupiter, but it will be clear once you post-process the video. You stack it using uh, software, and then you post-process it so you can enhance the details but it's rough the rough footage will look like this when you use the Sawi Boni SV305 finally this is Mars so still the same camera and it will when you use um, an astronomical camera and depending on the day and the weather if it's windy um, you will notice that the footage or the image or the planet will be jumping around so tracking is very crucial and it will also depend on the size of your scope so this is Mars 
you can already think uh, I think you can already see the uh, caps the north caps and some faint features of the planet in there so that is all for our review and unboxing of the Saive Boni SV305 don't forget to like subscribe or leave your comments down below and always remember let's look up